The S90C is the starting point for Samsung's QD OLEDs for 2023, and it's a great looking TV. It has that shallow depth that's typical of an OLED to go along with a thin bezel and a center mounted pedestal, and it comes in three sizes, 55, 65, and 77 inches. Pricing on the 65 inch model, which is what we have right here, starts at $25.99, but these do go on sale throughout the year, so be sure to check in with an apt home theater specialist to hear about any of our current sale pricing. The connections on the S90C are located directly on the back and they're arranged in an L pattern. You have two USB Type A's and two HDMI 2.1's facing left as you're looking at the back of the TV. Then you've got two more HDMI 2.1's, an optical audio output, an Ethernet port, X-Link, and an antenna connection with an ATSC 3.0 tuner all facing down. And it has another connection that you don't see on a lot of TVs anymore, a 3.5mm analog audio output, and it even comes with an RCA adapter. Finally, for wireless connections, it's got Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 5. For the operating system, Samsung uses Tizen here, which is easy to navigate and pretty responsive. Your home page, which is otherwise known as media, is where you're going to find your apps, recently viewed content, and what's on now. And if you scroll down, you'll see additional content that's broken down into categories and genres. Some of it's paid, but there's plenty of free stuff down there too. There's a search menu that you can use to look up shows or movies across multiple platforms that make it easy to find what you're looking for. Under search is the ambient mode menu, which lets you pick from a bunch of different wallpapers that you can display on the TV. So it looks more like an art display rather than a blank black rectangle when you're not using it. Then you have Game Hub. This lets you play games right off the TV without needing a gaming console. All you need is a controller, which is not provided in the box, and you can choose from a variety of different games from services like Xbox, Luna, GeForce Now, and Utomic. There are fees associated with most of the gaming services, but there are some free games that you can try out as well. Finally, you've got connected devices where you can see all the components you have hooked up to the TV, and settings where you can make changes to the TV's picture, audio, and network settings. Moving on, we've got smart features. The S90C works with Samsung's Bixby Smart Assistant and Amazon Alexa right out of the box once you set them up, and it can work with Google Assistant, but you need a separate Google Assistant device on the same network to take advantage of that feature. It's also got two-screen multi-view, which is basically a fancier name for picture-in-picture. -picture. And finally, one of my favorite smart features, TV Plus. This is a collection of streaming TV channels that you can watch for free, and there's a ton of them. It's great for cord cutters and anyone who might just be looking for additional content to watch. For audio, the S90C gets a 2.1 channel system driven by 40 watts of power to go along with object tracking sound light, which is going to help sound follow the action on the screen. It's also compatible with Dolby Atmos audio. And it sounds decent, but with fewer drivers and less power than the S95C model above it, we would recommend considering adding a soundbar to this one. And because it has Q-Symphony built in, going with a Samsung soundbar that also has Q-Symphony really adds to the overall home theater experience. That feature is going to let the TV speakers work along with the soundbar speakers for a much more engaging experience by creating a wider soundstage with far more impactful surround effects. Then we've got the picture, which is just as stunning as you might have imagined. The colors are beautiful, black levels are deep and rich, and you get terrific highlights and shadow details, especially when you're watching HDR10 Plus content. You get a few different picture calibration modes to choose from right out of the box. We recommend going with the filmmaker mode, but you also have the option to calibrate the picture yourself using a compatible smartphone. It's easy enough for a novice to do, and it only takes a few minutes. And since we have free lifetime technical support on any products purchased from our store, if you have any trouble doing this on your own, you can always give us a call and one of our store specialists can help walk you through that process. All you're going to need to do is download the Samsung SmartThings app onto your phone, set the TV up on the app and make sure they're on the same network, and go to basic calibration. Then you hold the phone up to the TV screen and let it do its thing. When it's done, you have the option to choose the new calibration or go back to the original. We found that doing this did make a good enough difference to really make it worthwhile. Motion, as is the case with most OLED TVs, is great on this one too. We found that putting the TV on the auto setting did a nice job with most anything we were watching without creating any noticeable soap opera effect. 
sports, movies, YouTube content, and games all looked great. But also, if you don't want to use the auto setting, you can always turn the motion enhancement off altogether, or you can customize it in the TV's picture menu. Now going back to games for a moment, this is also a great gaming TV. All four of the HDMI inputs are 2.1 and they offer variable refresh rates with FreeSync Premium and can handle 4K at up to 144Hz. Plus, this one has Samsung's Game Bar 3.0. If you hold down the play pause button on the remote, it'll bring up a menu with gaming specific features that you can make adjustments to. One of the big questions on the S90C though is, what's the difference between this and the S95C? Without getting into tons of detail, the S95C does have a better audio system, better picture calibration from the factory, FreeSync Premium Pro for better HDR when you're gaming, and a OneConnect box. But is it worth the extra cost? Depends on what you're looking for. You get a really great picture on the S90C just using that basic calibration feature in the SmartThings app, so most people should be satisfied there. If you're hooking your TV up to an external audio system that isn't a Samsung soundbar with Q-Symphony, then the TV's built-in audio won't really matter. If you're not hanging it on the wall, the One Connect box isn't quite as big of a factor. And if you're not a gamer looking for every bell and whistle, or you're just not a gamer at all, then missing out on FreeSync Premium Pro won't be a big deal either. You get a lot for your money with the S90C. There are so many great TV choices available now, and at Apt, we wanna make sure that you end up with the one that's going to work best for your home theater. If you have any questions on the S90C or need assistance finding the right TV for your needs, be sure to contact our experts here at the store. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.